on Morning Campers. It's the 13th of May. It's 9.12. Um, whether you're in bed, just woke up, just had a cup of, well, just woke up, just had a cup of tea. Um, should be going off to out near Aberdeen. Well, Aberdeen, Glasgow. What's it, Glasgow? I'm not sure what it is. It's Glasgow somewhere. I don't know, I think it's one. It's Hamilton in Glasgow. I can't remember, I just read the tickets earlier. Hamilton, Hamilton in Glasgow. Um, two in Edinburgh. Dumfries, no. Dundee. And there's somewhere else as well. And then about a mile outside Aberdeen, well, a mile off the centre of Aberdeen. Um, and the chap I used to drive for has told me that if, um, well, basically what we've agreed is I can go into uh, Aberdeen and pick my motorbike up if I'm, and I won't bill him for the driving. So I drive out there for nothing um, and pick my motorbike up, which is quite good. Um, not really that fast, really, because I've got enough motor bikes, haven't I? But yeah, yeah, but it's um, saying about like it all being closed down up there, but anything is essential, and like John said, he said to me, Well, you've got there. You're coming back empty. It is, in, it is essential that you come back, so that bringing me more of my back is not a problem. So that'll save him oh, a couple of hundred quid in wages, and it'll save me a couple of hundred quid because I spent it'll cost me four hundred pound to get it sent down. Um, yeah, but then again, I don't suppose it's going to be locked down. Ain't going to be that long, is it? I, I suppose I could have flown up and. Rolled it back, which has been a bit of an adventure. I quite enjoyed that. But yeah, there you go. Anyway, so apparently there's some stuff coming in from France. It's not here yet. So whether I should be going later on the day or tomorrow, I just want to be. What is it? Wednesday today, isn't it? It wants to be. Um, uh, what do you call it? What's it? I want to get going. If I get going today, I drive over a night to see, so I'd be Glasgow first thing in the morning. But, say it's a, it's a big sprinter van with a, a sort of fold down bed thing in it. Like a, I don't know, it just folds down behind the cab, really, so. It'll be one night in it. I mean, well, it's been a, the last couple of times I've been up, it's been one night in it. So, um, yeah. So we'll see what happens. I'm trying to do what old Mel said about not looking at my picture, but looking at the actual camera so that I'm looking to you. But I find it really difficult because all I can see is some chap off to the right chatting away. <laughs> He's a handsome bugger though. Yeah. Um, yeah, my mate... Um, Howard. See, the last time I went up, up the Everdees, not the last time, the last time I went up there socially, went to the Over Everdees, so I was meant to call in and see him. I haven't seen him for about 40 bloody years. But, no, I expect it's even longer than that. And uh, see how he's getting on. Because it seems really weird seeing his pictures on here, because he was a real young lad last time I met him. Last time I seen him. Anyway, that's probably the point I'm just chatting on. It's uh, quite a nice day here. Um... Outside, see, there must be a bay parked outside her house. Um, yeah, you're not too sure. Um, the way it's hanging about, having to wait to go. I want to get on and get the job done and get up there, get the bike, get back. But anyway, we'll see how it goes. So I'll speak to you all later, I remember. Stay classy. And remember, most of you Scottish people, I love you anyway.
you know, yeah, I've got some good friends in Scotland. I met some really nice people out there. Yeah. But, um... Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to say I'm going to go upset anybody, do I? So I'll speak to you all later. Remember, stay classy, look for you, and bye-bye.